We got this dual songs. All right. Okay, this is good. We open up good, guys. We have tenacity. We have precious cards. We have return. This is everything we need. I don't care about gravity, but my winning condition is Exodia. Okay, what is this? What's pretending to treat an aqua monster or something except for Frog the Jam? Disrespect to Frog the Jam here. Um, I need to activate this first because I have to reveal the monarch. But then I can get rid of that card because it's not really required right now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and add the Escalation of the Monarch to our hand. And I also have Pan Deity here. Um, there's a lot of options here. Either way, this is definitely being activated. Um, I need to use one for one to bring out this card, but then I don't really have anything I can search out for. But I can draw two cards. I don't know what I can draw into, though, guys. That's something that, like, it's RNG. Let's let's see what we can go in, though. Um, it doesn't matter. I play two copies of each, so it's, it's a 50-50 right there. Uh, we do happen to have this, though. That's still pretty good. I have the one for one. Uh play right here. So I can get rid of this. Uh, I can go into idea, idea. Okay, I can summon the Exodia part too. But yeah, I, I was, I'm, again, just one card off. It's just every single time it's one card off. So we get an additional normal summon. Then we can uh, activate this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I can't. Okay, this is, this is heavy RNG. Okay, I need him to give me return. I've already activated Tenacity, so I I can't really go for tenacity. I, I just can you can you give me a return of the mark? I almost want to just play three copies of each against the AI, so it's just like a higher chance. I don't know if he gives me this card, guys. We we can win right now. Um, come on, give me return, please. Yes, he gave me return. Okay, okay, boys, we got it, dude. That was a one out of three chance because I don't think the AI understands what's going on here. Oh my gosh! All right, all right. All right, boys, we got it. Unless this back row is something that I have to deal with that I can't deal with. So we got Idea's effect. We're going to get uh, Aether's effect here. And then we're going to get Return. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add this card to our hand. Very great stuff. This card is going to bring out um, the Dark uh, one, the Erebus. We're going to add one to our hand, which is important. And then we're going to go ahead and send the original Monarch to the Graveyard and then Tenacity to the Graveyard. And then we're going to go ahead and Special Summon. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point since we have another one of these, but I'm going to go with this one just because, like, well, the standard combo is this. Let me just go with the standard combo because we will be searching out another one of these later on real soon. So don't worry about that. So, yes. And then we're going to draw two cards, and then we get to activate this card's effect. Well, we could do a lot of different stuff here. But the, the, the standard, I'm just going to do the standard, standard Exodia play right here, which is a special summon this. And then uh, what we do here is we can just end our turn. We could also activate this where uh, you can, this card's in your graveyard, you can banish this and another Mount Explosion Trap Graveyard to special summon this uh, card in defense mode. It's not really relevant, uh, it just can, can help, because remember this card's going to be bounced back. So we're going to go ahead and uh, end our turn right now. And then this card is actually going to return to our hand. I can't attack with anything because gravity right, but that's not the win condition anyways. So I want to activate this as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know what the AI is going to do. So he's sending a card. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to summon uh, the Erebus. And I, we're going to go ahead and summon this bad boy. And what? Oh, it's okay. That's, I was like, wait, wait. I'm summon without tribute. Is this Cleese, man? So now we get the precious cards and then we get his effect. Now his effect is that um, you can go ahead and uh, bounce one, um, and that's a really good effect. And also when he's in the graveyard, he has another effect. Okay, now this is the more important effect. Bouncing back the card, it's whatever. It's not that relevant. But uh, we're going to go ahead and add a monster. Now the monster that you want to add with this is important. It's this card. I only play one target in here because this, this build was specifically made to go for one specific play. Then we can send to the graveyard. Uh, I'm just going to keep on sending original Monarch. And then we could also send... Well, just send one from the hand. It doesn't seem like a good idea, but we're going to send this one from the deck to the graveyard. But remember, when we are banishing cards, guys, later on with idea, you are able to actually re-add them. So now we can... Um, wait, I want to... Oh, I, sh I needed to actually activate the... Uh, okay, hold on. All right. 
I, I needed this card to be activated. Uh, my bad. I should have activated this during his turn. It's, it's not really that relevant, but uh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Okay, and then from there what we do, um, we still have an idea, so I can go ahead and I think we have, what, one or two left? Uh, we have two left. Okay, so I still have the option to go for this. And then we can go ahead and get this card's effect. And then we can go ahead and special summon this. And then we can go ahead and tribute summon. I'm gonna get his effect. To get an, ad an additional normal summon in his effect. So we're gonna normal summon. And then we can go ahead and summon these two bad boys. And then we get to draw two cards. And then we can get Idea's effect. Idea lets us re-add the other card. See, I'm not even going for Exodia right now. We get this card's effect to summon another monster, and then we get this card's effect to search out this one. Now, the main effect that you want is the ability to uh, get this guy in the graveyard, because once this guy is in the graveyard, you have the effect that during either player's main phase, if this card is in your, uh, your graveyard, you can discard one Monarch Spell and Trap card, and since you're going to draw a bunch of cards off of this, you should at least have one. Yes, it's RNG, but it's, it's, like, it's not that bad, all right? So we'll get rid of the one in the hand, and then we'll special summon this. Remember guys, this card will be going back to our hand during the end phase, so it doesn't really matter that much. And I still have like copies of trade-in to make the deck extra consistent. And like, look, we've drawn so many cards, uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually get rid of Kai's. Kai's isn't going to be really relevant. And then look, I drew into three upstarts. Well, actually, I could, uh, I could probably get pretty close to an Exodia here. Um, so I can go ahead and activate this. Go for this. I think you can all- can't you only use one? Oh no, it's, we can activate both. Wow, that's really good. Uh, so we can go ahead and activate this. Uh, we can go ahead and... Um, sure, why not? It's not like I really need the ideas uh, anymore at this point. But like, this deck, it looks a little wonky. It is very strange though, like... Oh, come on, please game. Please game, don't troll me like this. It didn't give me it! I have to wait one turn. I wonder if I... Oh my gosh, it's so dumb though. That's so dumb. I just one card off. Whatever. It doesn't matter unless he's going to OTK me. And okay, I could just do this. Wait, actually, what do I... I don't have anything to draw, right? Uh, this one I could just uh, summon it. Uh, I wish I could just like... Wait. I don't know if... I don't think I can though. Yeah, I was just going to summon that. Yeah. It's cool. We have more monsters. All right. Whatever. That It was, it was kind of dumb that we didn't draw the card, but... It's fine. As soon as this turn starts, we can go ahead and be like, okay, discard this, discard this, uh, discard this, and we're good. And then um, we can go ahead and uh, activate uh, this card's effect, or or this one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's, let's just chain it to this. Be like, oh, I do activate escalation, chain this. Uh, then we're just gonna go ahead and be like, bam, summon this bad boy. Uh, we're normal summon it. You do want to do that uh, because otherwise it won't get that effect. The gun's still soundtrack too good though. Anyways. Going to summon this, I guess? Okay. We're normal summon this bad boy. Uh, let's normal summon this. Yeah, the, the normal summons for days, man. Normal summons for days indeed. And then... Well, what? It, whoa! That's draw eight cards, guys! That is draw eight cards. And then we get to start... Dude, Monarch Exodia, guys. Like, holy crap. That is absolutely crazy. And th that is draw eight cards. Oh my gosh. I, I know I, I lose because I, I can't draw any more cards, but like... I thought Exodia, like, as soon as you draw it, like, that was game over. I know, rip. I, I know, I know, I know that you could, I could wait one turn. He wasn't going to OTK me. But the fact that this changed to its, holy crap. That's, is, is that how it works, though? Because drawing eight cards, that, that, and remember, guys, I can cycle and draw two more. That's like, t oh my gosh, this deck is broken, dude. This deck is broken, dude. Monarch, Exodia, confirmed for broken, confirmed. All right.